Howdy guys, this is Arvid from Tucson Vapors, and I wanted to do a little demo of something that I've brought up before on forums and otherwise, and that is vaping at 1.2 volts. So, here we go. I've got a box mod given to me by one of the members there, um, Sean, and I put in basically 10 gauge copper wiring for all of the connections, so this thing has no resistance internally. Or at least very little. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. As you can see, there's a series of actually a, a set of parallel AA batteries all going the same direction there. And we're going to see how 1.2 volts vapes. This thing can keep up with my 0.8 ohm Jenny mod. And just to prove to you, you can see that there's four batteries in there. Just to prove to you that this is not about stacking voltage. And to show just how powerful these batteries actually have become. These are Duracell State Charge, they're from Japan, and they are rebranded and loop batteries. A single AA battery in there now. Secrets in the coil. Basically, you're shooting for a coil that is around 0.1 ohms. See if we can get a good shot of this guy. This is a 20 gauge coil, two reps on an AGI, and that's excess uh, 1 8 silica sleeving. Now, single battery does have at max a 10 amp limit on it, which means that you're talking somewhere with it being 1.2 volts plus taking a little voltage dip from the the fact that it's powering a pretty greedy coil a single battery may not be the biggest vape possible it does well but with even a second one you're up to full capacity this thing has more than enough power to give it that so ideally this would be probably a 2AA box, um, this is just going to make it last longer. These double A's hold very close to the capacity um, energy wise as a 14500, so they're going to end up delivering time wise about what you'd expect from a 14500, not the longest thing in the world, but not bad, and with four of them stacked in, this is doing very well, it's uh, four of them for a day. I charge them overnight. So, not only is it possible, but uh, it, it's doing great. These are batteries that I picked up, some of them at Fry's, some of them online, some of them in a uh, Walgreens. You can get them absolutely anywhere. Way cheaper than other batteries. I actually did goof and have one vent on me because I put it in backwards. So I fought three batteries against one. It vented some, but it's actually still functional afterwards. It barely even got hot. I had it in my hand immediately afterwards. Just so much safer of a battery chemistry to begin with. And if we can pull this kind of performance out of it, and when you need a replacement, if you're out on the road and you run out of batteries, all you have to do is pull into any store and get their rechargeable <coughs> batteries, basically. There's many of them that can put out this sort of a, uh, an output. Anyways, I hope that that's a little bit informative and one last good vape for the road.
Enjoy. Stay positive.